This government had an idea and Parliament made it law It's like it's illegal to fight for the unions anymore And which side are you on? 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 Billy Bragg, play Billy Bragg. That is Billy Bragg. What a gorgeous, what a gorgeous guitar. It's a hollow body Fender, Fender Slimline Telecaster. Wow, Billy Bragg, great, uh, the great artist, Billy Bragg, folk singer. So take a deep dive. Not really a deep dive. I'm just going to be kind of watching a, a uh, video that I watched. Uh, I like you to see it and uh, try to help me understand what the hell we're seeing here. Wow. China just went all out, 70th anniversary of communism, the Communist Party. Uh, take a little look at the history and then watch the pageantry. Wow, the day outdo us, boy. We talk about a firework display and conformity, right? So which side are you on, right? Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on? So there's communism, right? There's communism or, uh, you know, or... Uh, you could call it collectivism, as opposed to our individualism, our freedom. We're so free. We're so free to, to do what? To think? To not even anymore. We're not even uh, uh, free to think. Uh, so I just want to look at that. Like I want to look at I want to look at the two systems, the two political systems right now, because China is on the move. China is rising, and and multiplying and. They took their people, you know, 90% of their people, they took them out of poverty in, you know, in, since 1976, right? In our country, we're slipping into abject poverty. Now, this is not a, this is not an argument for communism versus capitalism, whatever capitalism even means anymore. But it is a, an interesting uh, display of pageantry that the Chinese just put on yesterday. And I want, I want to take a, I want to take a look at that. But before, let's just look at um, kind of the meaning. The Oh, you know what? Before that, right? Can cocaine save you? <laughs> a little funny video. Can cocaine save you? Now, you remember in, when cocaine just came out? Oh, no, no, it's not harmful. It's not harmful. No, no, no. It's just a, uh, it stimulates your mind so you can, so you can think better, right? And, and uh, it's not addictive. No, no, no. It's not addictive. So can cocaine save you? Well, in this case, it did. I, look, a couple of, um, it looks like a couple of pirates. They're out in the water, right out in the ocean there, <laughs> and they're clinging on to, they're clinging on to floating piles of cocaine. Check this shit out. I'm gonna turn the uh, audio off so I don't get, get struck. So what do you got there? You got, um, that's amazing, right? It's just, it looks like three guys. And the Coast Guard is coming to save them. And what they're floating on, maybe they got thrown all overboard or the boat sank and the cocaine survived. or I don't know. It, it seems weird. Why are all the cocaine bundles bundled together? Maybe they're tied together. Well, that is cocaine, my friends. That is cocaine. And these guys are just, you know, they're just sitting in there either waiting to get, they're either waiting to get eaten by sharks or saved by looks like a, a it looks like a Mexican flag, Mexican flag on the guy's shoulder. What is that? Try one more time. What is that? Mexico or maybe Ecuador or something? I don't know. Oh, Guatemala. There it is. It's on. It's written on his back. So these guys are choosing to live, man. They they know they're that's that's uh. That's either at the execution chamber or life in prison for all that cocaine. Those guys are fucked, but they're choosing to get out of the water so that the sharks don't eat them. Man. Ah, floating cocaine saves the day. So, 70th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. China. The 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China was observed with a series of ceremonial events, including a grand military parade. As its spotlight, as its spotlight to celebrate National Day of the People's Republic of China that took place on October 1st in Beijing. 
General Secretary of the Communist Party, President and Chairman of the Central Military Commission, Xing Jinping, Xing Jinping, who was the guest of honor. Uh, so it broadcasted out to 900 million Chinese and another 200, you know, 200 million abroad. Chinese all over the world come together and celebrate the great Communist Party of China. Now, that's what it is. But you got to, I mean, the spectacle, right? We have nothing like this. This You can't even compare. You can't, I'm going to put it on full screen so you can watch it. You have to watch the whole thing. All right, so that's what we're going to do for, for the next 20 minutes. That's all this is. Look at the pageantry. Right? They're singing. Those are human beings down there organizing with, with these things. Of the, the most amazing fireworks show. Uh, it's, it's, it's rather incredible. Right? So, so uh, enjoy that. Enjoy that for a while, and then I'll come back and uh, talk.
团活动到此结束。How about that, right? Are you brainwashed yet? <laughs> oh man! So, so there's a little more to go. I'll just watch a little bit more of it. I mean, what do you get out of that? What do you get when you watch it? I got, you know, do you can you feel it? You know, do you feel part of, or do you feel? Any sense of purpose or anything like that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man, but that was pretty heavy, right? Singleness of purpose, right? So, you know, in our life, right, we have clash of ideas. Let me get out of this. We have a clash of ideas. We, we battle ourselves. We, we drive our, 
our, our collective ideas into each other. And through that comes some sort of, I don't know, some sort of betterment, some sort of thing that we call the American way, right? But here you have, you have worker ants. I wrote some things down as I was watching it. Uh, together, not divided. A singleness of purpose. Right? From the youngest to the oldest, one vision, one people. Uh, is that the way to do it? Does it work? Well, it's working right now. Uh, it's certainly working right now. I think in, historically there is both systems of one individualism and the other of collectivism can both work at different times in history. But it does seem that the idea of an individualistic society, uh, you know, the United States, Europe, European nations, are, are now waning and the, the uh, collectivism is, is, uh, is waxing, is rising. Right? So it is interesting to watch, but it's fascinating. We have nothing like that. The, the spectacle of people coming together, the fireworks, the, the perfect uniforms, the conformity of the people. Everyone is there, not because they're told to be there. That's not true. The, the fact is that they're kind of just there because they want to be part of this thing. It's just something to think about. Just something to think about, man. You know, as I stand behind the American flag right now, it's all around me, right? And, uh, you know, where, where our economy is, you know, our way of life is starting to recede into abject poverty, theirs is flourishing. Right? Are you ready to give up your individualism for a little, a little collectivism? Are you ready to join the collective cult? I don't know, man. Marcus Conte reporting.